In this tutorial, we'll take a look at the Chrome extension called Loom. Loom is a screen recorder, so it allows you to record what's going on on your screen. You can also add a webcam or just record your webcam. To get started, you're going to go to chrome.google.com slash web store when you're on Chrome, and you are going to find Loom, L-O-O-M. You are going to then click to add the install the extension. Once you have it, uh, the extension installed, you are going to navigate to any other page. You can't be on the Chrome Web Store page. And you're going to click that little loom icon that's across the top here where your extensions are. The first time you click it, you're going to click Login with Google, accept the permissions. And then when you click it again, you are going to allow your microphone. You are going to allow your webcam. So how Loom works is when you click it, you are first going to set up your recording. You can choose between recording your screen and your camera. You can turn your camera off at any time, move it around the screen as well. If you just want to do your screen, you have that option. And you can choose to do your camera only. So this is great if you just want to record yourself talking. So you're going to make your choices there. If you do choose screen only or screen and cam, you have the option between your full desktop and your current tab. Selecting your full desktop means that anywhere you move on your screen, even if you change tabs, open a different website, that will record. If you choose current tab, only the tab that you click record on, even if you go anywhere else, will record. Then under that, you just want to check that you have your microphone audio coming in. And then if you do choose to do your webcam, where is that webcam coming from? Is there any other microphone? phones and then down here at the bottom you can even go through some advanced settings if you'd like to do that when you're ready to start recording you're going to press start recording loom will count down for you then oh one more step we need to choose what screen we want so i have two screens going on right now so i'm just going to select the screen i want to record and i'm going to click share now loom is going to count down for me Remember that I chose to have my webcam on as well. So down here at the bottom, I can grab my webcam and move it around the screen if I need to reposition it. I can also choose if I have my webcam on, the size of my webcam, so I can make that webcam larger or smaller. If I choose to close the webcam, there's a little X right here, I can choose to close it and bring it back later or not bring it back. Along the side here, we have some options to cancel our recording, meaning we want to abandon our work that we've done so far. We can pause it. So if something happens and you want to pause and then resume your recording, you can certainly do that. And then you also have the option to finish your recording, meaning that you want to complete it and you want to go ahead and load it so you can share it out. So pretty simple here. Um, if I were to present or wanted to present this presentation, for example, um, I can go ahead and press my present button. So it will full screen my presentation on here. Give it a second to load. My camera's still on it. Showing your camera is a great way to engage your students or engage your audience. So it's always great to have that there. But if you need to move it around or close it and bring it back, you can do that with Loom. When you're ready to finish sharing, we are going to click our finish recording screen here. And it is going to tell us that it's actually copied the link to our video. So we are ready to share it out. But with Loom Pro, we have some more options here. So we can play back our video to see what we recorded. We can also go in and trim it. So if we want to remove sections of our video, we can click trim to do that. We also have some settings here that we can adjust. If you want to turn on and off the ability for people who are viewing your video to leave comments, you can do that. You also have this ability uh, to turn off notifications if you don't want to be notified. So there's a couple settings in there you can check out. You can also change the title of your video here. So when people click to watch your video, this is the title that shows up. You can also download your video if you want. Another good thing to note about Loom is you can click on my videos here. And this is just loom.com slash my slash videos. And this is where you can see all the videos that you've recorded. You can move things around. You can create new folders. So you can access your previous videos there. With Loom Pro uh, free for teachers, you also have unlimited number of videos that you can make. So this is Loom. It's great for going through student work to give feedback, connecting with students and parents, recording tutorials, and recording lessons.